Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. A rural state legislature district in Georgia may be forced to redo a contentious primary election between two Republicans due to errors within its voter database. In May, State Representative Dan Gassaway lost his seat to businessman Chris Irwin by a slim margin of 67 votes. But the day after the election, Gassaway's wife came home from work and said her colleague couldn't find his name on her ballot even though she lives in his district. Gassaway grew suspicious. He obtained voter data, plotted voters' addresses on maps of his district and concluded that at least 67 voters the margin of victory either incorrectly received ballots for another district or should not have been allowed to vote in his district's election at all. I realized then we had a serious problem, Gassaway told CNN, claiming that mistakes by local election administrators could have cost him the race. 6,000 votes had been cast, and the Secretary of State's office, which oversees the state's elections, had certified the results. No Democratic candidates ran for the seat. Gassaway filed a lawsuit in June demanding a do-over against Irwin. Officials in Habersham County, which occupies much of his district in northeast Georgia, conceded in August that errors were made and called for a new election. County officials say the decision on whether to take the rare step of holding another primary election rests with the judge who's presiding over the case. Election security observers and activists in Georgia say the situation in Gassaway's district adds to growing concerns about the integrity of the state's voting system and spotlights the way discrepancies in voter data can potentially affect election results. The Secretary of State's office says Georgia's voting system remains secure ahead of November's midterm elections. But court filings in a separate federal lawsuit outline confusing issues at polling places in other parts of Georgia in recent years, such as voters confirming their assigned polling places on the state's elections website and later being told by poll workers they're assigned elsewhere.